intelligent, and he was overall a well-respected man in the court. He was around 5.10, he was tall, he was lean, and he had a bushy beard, and he, he wore red, because that's what he wore if he were a noble in the court. There was another advisor that was very jealous of Birbal. He had always wanted King Akbar's job, King Akbar's right hand man, which, which Birbal was. And he then devised a plan to get rid of Birbal. The next day, King Akbar again praised Birbal in front of this advisor. This, made, this is the last straw for the advisor. He went up to both of them and said, I have come up with three questions. And if Birbal can answer them right, I think it deserves the job as, as your right hand man. But if he doesn't, I think I deserve the job. King Akbar and Birbal both nodded at each other. So then the advisor said three questions. They were, how many stars in the sky? Where is the center of the earth? And how many wise men and fools are there in the village? For the first question, Birbal thought. But he thought hard. And then he left the courtroom. Everyone was confused what, what was going on. And then you see him, a moment later, struggling to bring in a goat by its horns. And the goat is making all these noises. It's, it's, it's uncomfortable. Everyone else in the courtroom is uncomfortable. And <laughs> finally brings it in, and he sets it down in the middle of, of the whole room. He says, there are as many stars in the sky as hairs on this goat. You may count them if you would like. <laughs> To answer the second question of where the center of the earth is, Birbal then thought again, and he went in the corner of the room, and he grabbed an iron rod, and he walked over to King Akbar's throne, and he sort of gestured the king to get out of his throne. This was, this was different, because no one, no one does that to the king. <laughs> he then jammed the rod in the throne, in between the cushions, and said, this is where the center of the earth is. My king sits on the center of the earth. Everyone in the courtroom applauded. By this time, this advisor was getting pretty nervous because he was answering these questions so fast. <laughs> For the third question of how many wise men and fools there are in the village, Birbal then hesitated and he thought more because this was a more, it was a harder question for him. And he finally said, not everyone can be wise. Not everyone can always be a fool. Sometimes I'm wise. And often you are a fool. <laughs> everyone in the courtroom burst out laughing, and even the king came down and shook Birbal's hand. He was happy that Birbal could stay, his head advisor. And the, the other advisor, he got up, and he realizing his defeat, he walked away. 